everyone and welcome to Whole Foodie Challenge. If you are new here, welcome. Um, and if you've followed me before, you'll know that I do all cooking that's like healthy, plant-based, local, um, and I try to make things fun and have different challenges. I would really appreciate if you hit the little thumbs up and subscribe below if you haven't already. It really does help my channel grow. This week we are going to be making another pasta dish. It's pasta month, haven't I told you? <laughs> uh, last week I made the TikTok pasta so good. Um, and I thought I would do kind of like a simple pasta this week. So my Nana sent me all these pastas, as you may know already. And these look really good. They're like mini bow tie pastas. They're so tiny, like that's my finger. So you can tell how tiny they are. Well, my best friend has a little son who's allergic to like pretty much everything under the sun or sensitive to it. Um, and she's thinking of different types of pastas that don't have tomato and that don't have dairy. One of my favorite ways to eat pasta, especially when I was a kid, was just like pasta with butter and Parmesan. <laughs> so simple, so good. Now that I'm not eating a lot of dairy, I'm going to try this with a dressing that I actually use all the time and my friend Emmy actually recommended I try a pasta with this sauce. She calls it the Hannah dressing because she and her mom and like her family use it now all the time. So I'm gonna try a very simple recipe like that and let's get cracking. Let's get to the kitchen and make it. Okay this dressing is so simple. I'm literally using the same ingredients that I'm using, that I've used for my kale salad. So we've got olive oil here, nutritional yeast, um, honey, and you can sub in maple syrup. These are three garlic cloves, and I have this thing, it's like a microplane, whoops, it's a microplane um, grater, so you put the garlic in there, and then you just kind of rock it back and forth and it chops it for you. I like it. The only thing that's annoying is cleaning it afterwards. I don't have a dishwasher, so I find it sometimes. I don't use it all the time. Um, you can also use ground uh, garlic powder. And then this is apple cider vinegar and a pinch of sea salt. So I'm just going to add it all to a bowl. It's pretty straightforward and then whisk it all together. And like I said, this works as a salad dressing and I'm gonna try it as a pasta. Look at these tiny noodles. I can't get over them. Just cook for eight minutes. Pasta is boiled. Now we're just going to add the sauce. Look at that goodness. It smells so garlicky and good. some of this hemp. Want to be really extra? I'm adding some lemon zest. And that's just going to add just a little bit more brightness to the pasta. Okay, let's eat yummy little pasta. 
kid friendly. That's really good. It's, what I love about this is the vinegar in it just kind of gives it that little kick. This is a, a dressing that would be, you could have it as like warm pasta. You could also have it cold and have it like a pasta salad. You can add some veggies in there. But for a kid who just like wants something really simple, this is so good. You could have some steamed broccoli on the side options are endless. Look at these tiny little noodles. So cute. Mm -hmm. So good. Cheese. Leo, tell us what you think of the noodles. Cheese. With Hannah's zesty kale salad sauce. Here, Leo. Manga, manga. Oh, oh. What do you think of that? Yeah, yeah. Doesn't like that. Doesn't Leo, like it. Leo, try a noodle. Try a noodle. Cheese. Mmm. Yum yum. Mmm. -hmm. Okay. Oh, oh, good. Very oh, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let me know what you thought of this pasta if you want to make it. Um, I'm going to make a few more different pasta recipes in the coming weeks. So stay tuned and thanks for following along if you've made it this far. Okay, have a great day. Mm -hmm.